When you go to France, either by boat or plane, you have to observe one of the old French customs. There it is. France expects, as Nelson would have done, that every man will pay his duty. But smuggling is still rife, and the officials take the strictest precautions. Here are some of the scenes witnessed by our cameraman at the Franco-Belgian frontier. Owing to tobacco, costing much more in France than in Belgium, huge illicit profits are made by smugglers, and there's no limit to their ingenuity. An innocent-looking lorry like this, for instance, might easily conceal a bale of tobacco. So customs officials are even more artful than the proverbial lorry load of monkeys. They must look into things. To practiced eyes, even the walk of the workmen sometimes betrays the presence of contraband, and their shoes are closely scrutinized. Corns in Egypt. Roads are watched for a distance of 50 miles, and the officers are prepared for any emergency. In this case, a car has ignored the signals and gone on. A cable thrown across the road has no effect, so a spike is brought into action. There are no fines for the officers, but a fine for the driver. It's extraordinary how many babies smoke, judging by the amount of tobacco found in children's prams. Bicycles, too, are a favorite hiding place, and the search is not complete until every part of the machine has been examined. The lamp might be a little too easy, but the tires are the very idea. The very idea. Belgian workmen coming to work in France usually bring their food and drink for the day. They show it as they pass. The River Lys forms the Belgian frontier for a considerable distance, and along its entire length, the officials keep a vigilant eye. A hand-propelled ferry is part of the patrol equipment. The close watch goes on both day and night, and at nightfall, the officers are accompanied by specially trained dogs while they camp in the open. It's in the still small hours that smuggling is most prevalent. Even school children are suspect. Their satchels might contain dutiable goods. Ah, uh -uh, naughty.